Hi, I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've done an OnlyFans video, which wasn't intentional. Um, I've just had a lot going on with the house because if you have been keeping up, you would know that I bought a house and I'm currently in the process of moving. However, I still want to make sure that I incorporate OnlyFans videos here and there to keep up with that as well. So it kind of feels like a long overdue update, honestly, on what's been going on with OnlyFans. Am I still doing it? Do I still feel like it's worth it? What's going on with my website? Because I talked about that on my Instagram, but I do get a couple questions on my YouTube videos as well. So I do want to address that. I used to also give a personal update at the end of my OnlyFans videos with how much money I've made on OnlyFans, my percentage and all of that. So I'm going to do a quick update on that at the end of this video as well. But thank you so much for watching. If you're new, definitely check out my other OnlyFans videos because this is a year and a half on the platform of OnlyFans. I know the majority of my following follows me for that content, so I did just want to make sure that I update you on what's going on, hopefully give you the content that you were here to see. So with all that being said, yes, I am still on the platform of OnlyFans. I use it every single day. I do three promos a day and then personal content on the weekends and sometimes in the middle of the week, just depending on how much content I have and what I want to release. It feels weird coming on here just to like talk about my stats on OnlyFans, but I know a lot of people want to see that and are curious, which is why I want to share it. So I think it's totally within your own control though on some level depending on how much you put into it is how much you're going to get out I know if I tried harder I could make more I know if I didn't put as much energy into it I would make less it is just completely up to you which is one of the reasons why I love OnlyFans as a platform because you do have that control as the creator to decide how much money you are making I definitely recommend promoting like every single day especially if you are still growing your platform make sure that you're promoting and getting that link out as many places as you can i don't think any platform is like off limits so if you're confused as to where you should be promoting don't overthink it just promote literally everywhere that you possibly feel comfortable promoting i definitely linger in the top zero and one percent of creators still i have a whole video on how to become a top zero percent creator or what factors that and what kind of goes into that because I think there are like a lot of varying factors that determine your percentage as a creator on OnlyFans. I think it has to do with your consistency, the engagement, how many fans you have maybe, and overall like the money that you were bringing into the platform. So that definitely will vary just depending on the day or the week and my account at that time, but I definitely kind of linger in that area. I know a lot of people tend to ask, and maybe they don't mean this in like a criticized negative way but sometimes it comes off that way but I know that a lot of people tend to ask like how are you making that much on OnlyFans or like where is it coming from specifically and I'll say that my biggest chunk of income comes directly from direct messaging so I release new content like I said once to twice a week and that is a bundle of photos sometimes it'll be a cheaper package and the majority of fans will open it or it'll be a more expensive package and not the majority of fans will open it but the income is about the same I make my most privately through the DMs engaging with fans directly and then also through subscriptions because my subscription is a little bit higher than most and that is just strategically like what I feel comfortable with and safest setting my price at but whatever you are comfortable with your prices like your call like do not let other people's prices influence that and then of course referrals definitely help so if you are considering signing up for OnlyFans I always comment my referral link down below in the comments and if you are searching for my OnlyFans it is just my full name as it's spelled on this YouTube channel so like OnlyFans.com slash my full name and then I always leave part of the link in the description down below as well but YouTube has gotten a lot stricter so I can't link the actual link anymore unfortunately which just goes to show like kind of I don't know if you can tell I'm trying to be like positive about it in this video but my energy about OnlyFans definitely feels down these days and maybe that's why I haven't made a video about it in a while because yeah like now YouTube is being picky about OnlyFans links and platforms just are not friendly about OnlyFans links even if it is not a not safe for work page like you could literally have a safe for work page on OnlyFans that doesn't have adult content but the link itself will still be flagged and it is starting to frustrate me because YouTube I just didn't expect to be like that and I think OnlyFans has changed a lot the last year and a half that I've been on the platform and I've noticed that maybe I will make a full video all about that but you know it can get to you a little bit and I feel like it's getting to me a little bit but I don't want to give up so definitely like if you feel the similar struggles that I 
am kind of feeling like don't give up we cannot give up these are obstacles these are challenges but that doesn't mean that it's over it doesn't mean you should stop trying because you know the money is still there and I firmly believe that the money is there if you put in the work to make it so I'm just taking everything as a blessing and working around it I did want to address my only creators website and then I'll get into some more OnlyFans stats I know a lot of people are curious to know like how much money I've made on OnlyFans in total at this point and I usually include that in my OnlyFans videos so I don't want to stop now so I'm gonna save that for the end but before we get there I did just want to address my only creators website as well because it's really sad and I put in a lot of work to that platform as you may have known to provide like a safe space for creators to come together I knew this might happen and I was concerned it may occur at some point but you know I really just still went for it aware that I wasn't like posting any adult content on my website and whatnot I'm getting ahead of myself but basically when I created a website I of course used like a host site you know like WordPress, Squarespace, Wix, one of those websites. I don't really want to give away which one. I don't want to give them like advertisement or say anything about it, but obviously they had rules and their terms and conditions that I was aware of where you can't create like a member's page for adult content, obviously, because that would be like an OnlyFans space. But I knew I was right there on the ledge, you know, talking about OnlyFans, having people like mention it or just the word OnlyFans itself. I was really afraid might tip something or cause there to be an issue because honestly like you cannot mention OnlyFans these days. Yeah and it didn't take long for me to get an email from the host site that I used saying that I can no longer accept payments, I can't make it into like a membership page because it violates their terms and conditions specifically underneath their social media posting which is very vague but I just knew it was because it was about OnlyFans so it didn't last long. Such a bummer because I put in so much work and I know that there are people that used the site and liked it. Yeah so they just shut it down basically and I wasn't able to check it or do anything about it unfortunately which sucks. I know I've gotten DMs from people showing me screenshots saying that they tried to sign up and they can't pay for it. So if that was you when you tried signing up and it didn't let you pay, that is why, because the site shut it down for being about OnlyFans, which is such a bummer, but I can't be that surprised at this point, you know, what platform hasn't given me a hard time with OnlyFans. So I definitely am trying to keep OnlyFans a little bit more on the private side of my life now and that's why if you see my social media you might be confused because it doesn't look like I'm on OnlyFans but I am it's just I don't want to mention it in places that I can't mention it and then violate something so it's become a lot more of like a private hustle for me but definitely something that I still want to speak about publicly on YouTube to help you and all of that so before we go let me quickly check my statistics or statements page on OnlyFans and I can give you a updated number for how I've been doing and if I think it is still worth it. So I started my OnlyFans January of 2020 before the pandemic and it's currently almost June 2021 so it's been exactly a year and a half and I do not mean to share this to brag in any way shape or form. I'm honestly just sharing this because it's something that I've shared since the beginning to help give anybody watching an idea of how much money you could make over a certain period of time. Also to like motivate or inspire you if you want to join a page. This is potentially what what could happen so grossly I have earned and like the total from the full year and a half I've earned grossly I've earned just under a hundred and seventy two thousand dollars of course OnlyFans takes out 20% so my amount that I've earned that has made it into my bank account that I am being taxed and actually claiming is about $147,000. Not too shabby. Honestly, that's like still crazy and blows my mind. Looking at my monthly statements, yeah, it's definitely around 10 to $12,000 per month these last four or five months, which is pretty consistent, I'd say at this point. Some months are more than others, but around there is about how much I am earning. And it looks like I am earning the most through subscriptions. Coming in at second place is referrals. And then right there, almost tied to it, is messaging. But yeah, that's where I am right now on OnlyFans. Honestly, like I had no idea it would turn into this, but I'm very, very grateful. And I honestly think anybody can do it. So hopefully this will inspire you as well. Is it worth it 100%? Like if you put in the work, the effort, you have nothing to lose, honestly. So if this is something you're considering, I still think it's worth it despite all of the obstacles, challenges, judgments, hate, like do what you gotta do. And if this is what you wanna do, like don't let anything stop you. Um, people will always have opinions, but it really 
really does not bother me. It doesn't get to me. That's a little update though on my OnlyFans. Yes, I'm still using it. That's how much I'm earning and I do think it's worth it. It's not too late to start. I literally have so many videos on tips to how to grow your page and specifically like certain things about the platform. So I'm going to leave that playlist down below. Also, I did want to mention I still offer promos. I do three promo posts a day and there are limited spots available. But if you want to book yours, definitely DM me on Instagram or Twitter. That is where I handle promotions. Please be considerate and kind and allow a week's response time just because there are a lot of messages and I don't check my DMs every single day because it can be draining sometimes depending on the DMs that are waiting for me. That's my update on OnlyFans as well as my website, RIP to the Only Creators Club, but it was really fun. I hope that it was able to benefit you while it still could because there are a lot of limitations using like a host's website and I'm not like a graphic web builder designer like I am completely self-taught I just googled everything I could and there was just a lot outside of my control to what I could do to create a website this isn't a therapy session and I don't want to get into it but I guess my last update is that anything like connected to OnlyFans has started to like affect my mental health these last few months and that's just like another reason why I took a step back it doesn't mean I'm stopping it it doesn't mean that I'm no longer creating videos about it but it's just been a little more difficult on my mental health. So thank you so much for watching and please comment your OnlyFans in the comments down below. You know, shameless self-plug. Get your link out everywhere you can, including my comments. DM me if you want to book a promo. I also do like Zoom meetings. I don't really talk about this, but if you DM me about it or if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it. I definitely offer 30 minute Zoom meetings. If you have any specific questions or want some more one-on-one -on -one help that is more like a consult or a mentoring session, I do offer that. So feel free to message me about getting details on how to set that up as well. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. I was so hurt and upset that I never gave him another chance.